to this special multiplayer DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in that famous hot seat and compete against your family or friends to be the first to reach the magical million pound mark and the chance, of course, to win a family holiday to Universal Mediterranean. Now, all you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right and enter buttons. It really couldn't be simpler. Right, if you're ready, let's play. Right, here we go. Let's go over the rules, although I'm sure you're familiar with them all by now. You are 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time. And if you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50. You can phone a friend, or of course you can ask the audience. OK, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players, and we can play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, you have 15 questions and three lifelines. The very best of luck. Let's play. Okay, for 100 quid, here's question number one. No problems there, it's correct. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. Very good, no problem at all, right answer. Here's question number three, it's worth 300 pounds. Well played, that's correct. Remember, a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Absolutely spot on. Well done. You've reached the first milestone. That's £1,000. Now, have a look at question six, because it could double your money to 2000 Who won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar at the 2003 Academy Award ceremony? Kathy Bates, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Meryl Streep, or Julianne Moore? So, you decided to ask the audience. Well, now, let's hope that they can help. Audience, on your keypads, please. All vote now. That's correct. Well done. 
Here comes question number seven out of a possible 15. It's worth £4,000. Good luck. Who released the album So Much for the City in 2003? The Joys, The Thrills, The Kicks, The Delights. Okay, you've decided to use your phone a friend lifeline. Choose the friend you'd like to call, but remember, you do not have to go along with their answer. If I was a betting man, I'd go for C, but it's not my money. It's a hard question. Good luck. Final answer. You lose a grand if it's wrong. Congratulations, that's the right answer. Okay, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to £8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. What is the profession of the character played by Kate Blanchett in the 2003 film Veronica Guerin? Doctor, detective, journalist or politician? Yes, that's the right answer. Right, the jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible £16,000. Which Roman emperor had his mother Agrippina murdered in 59 AD? Tiberius, Claudius, Nero or Augustus? Have you got any inkling at all? Congratulations, that's the right answer. Okay, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose £15,000. But get it right and you win 32000 guaranteed. On which island is the US military base at Guantanamo Bay? Guam, Cuba, Jamaica, Okinawa. Okay, let's try and make things a little easier for you. Computer, please take away two random wrong answers. Congratulations, that's the right answer. Right, question number 11 is worth £64,000. You would still walk away with 32000 even if you got it wrong. But let's hope you don't. Which Stephen Sondheim musical tells of the demolition of a theatre? Gypsy, Sweeney Todd, Follies, Wise Guys. Now, there's no changing your mind once it's gone orange. Is that your final answer? Jolly good, it's the right answer. Right, the next question is worth a whopping £125,000. It's number 12 of a possible 15. Take your time, it's a lot of money. Who was elected mayor of Carmel by the Sea in 1986? Jack Lemon, Tony Curtis, Kevin Costner, Clint Eastwood. Yes, that's the right answer. Right, now just take your time and relax. The next question is number 13 of a possible 15. If you answer and you're wrong, you drop back to 32,000 pounds. Here's the question for a quarter of a million. In area, which is the largest of these islands? Madagascar, Great Britain, Borneo or Sumatra?
Well played. You're absolutely right. This is now getting very, very serious. You are just two correct answers away from winning one million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose 218,000 pounds. Not good. Have a look at question number 14, but think very carefully about what you want to do. Where was the actor Richard E. Grant born? South Africa, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, or Swaziland? That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. Fantastic, you have played a brilliant game so far and now you have 500,000 pounds. But we would really like to give you one million. Take as long as you need. Here comes the million pound question. Due to the eruption of a volcano, which is the now uninhabitable capital of Montserrat? Plymouth, Portsmouth, Dover or Southampton? I can't believe how tense this is. Well, you could have walked away with half a million pounds. But instead, you'll be walking away with one million pounds. That's the right answer. Fantastic! What a tremendous game. All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done. You are a virtual millionaire. Congratulations. Now, for a chance of jetting off for a fabulous holiday to Universal Mediterranean, all you have to do is write this special win code on the postcard provided and send it to us in the post. It couldn't be easier. Good. Well done and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire?